Now, as we move through the course here, you're going to see me write quite a bit of T-SQL code. And I'm going to be showing you very simple examples. I'm a firm believer if you can get the simplest of an example and make it click in your mind, then you can add complexity to it without a whole lot of problem. So I'm going to write quite a few samples for you and you can watch along. You can work with me, but I'm also going to make this available to you in the working files folder. Probably 90% of most of everything you see I code here is going to be out there. So what I'm going to do is show you, first of all, how to save your queries. You need to know that. And then how you can use the code files that I create for you to go out there and open them up and play with my code. Because sometimes you just want to play with code. You don't have to write every letter of it to understand what's going on. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to jump out to the SQL Server Management Studio. And we are going to take a look at just creating a very simple little query. And then I'm going to save that. And so notice I'm going to do New Query. And we're connected to AdventureWorks 2012 here. And don't worry about all this. You're going to learn it all later. But I'm going to write a query. Select first name from person dot person. Okay, and I execute that. And there it goes. And so you're thinking, man, I'd like to have that code, right? That is some pretty powerful, very well-written code, wouldn't you say? So obviously you want a copy of that. And so what I'm going to do here is after we stop the recording, I'll leave you a little note up here. You know, this is how to get the first. Okay, you see where I'm going here, right? There'll be a little note there. Well, all I'm doing here is I will go up here to the file menu. I'll do file. I'll come down here and do save as. And then I will just save this right out here. Notice that I'm just going to put this one in my library's documents. Okay, and it's called SQL Query 3. Well, I'm going to do a um, simple first name query. All right. So I will say something like you can look in the working files folder and take a look at this code. So you open up your particular SQL Server Management Studio and you copy your working files to your desktop or to your documents or whatever. And you come in and you do File, Open. And notice I want to open a file and it says which one. And I am going to go into my documents, and there is my simple first name query. I just double click it and notice what happens. It's right there. I want to make sure that I've chosen AdventureWorks 2012 on my drop down. I'm going to show you a shortcut around that later. And then I can just select this code like this and execute it, and there it is. So that is how you can take advantage of the code files that I'm going to put out there. And also, when you write a really cool query, or when you've been hacking on it for a couple of hours and it finally does what you wanted it to do, that is how you can save your own queries. Just simply do a file and come down here and do Save As. It will give you the opportunity to give it a name, and you should be golden at that point, right? So that's how to save your queries. That's how to use the code that I'm going to put out there. So now you should be ready to follow along. So let's get started.